Hello, and welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm uh, Michael Mandel. Welcome to CBS, the number one station in Las Cruces. Really? Is it? No, it's... Uh, oh, it's uh, Las, Las Cruces, Cruces Channel. Channel. We're the premier, number one station here. And if you'd like to be on this station, just call us. Right there. This is the, this is the Las Cruces Channel. Yes. The only independent television channel in southern New Mexico. As well as the best. And by yeah. we're default. The no, we're the number one. Yes. We're the number one. As, as you know, I walk downtown and I see uh, th we're the first uh, uh, running shoe store in Las Cruces. Yes. I have a feeling they're going to be the first for a long time. Running apparel. R running apparel? And running? bicycle, too. They have bicycle stuff? There? Yes. Uh, clothing. They're clothing branching items. out. Oh, branching yes. out. And um, so, you know, d downtown is slowly picking up. Oh, look. You can watch us every Saturday and Sunday. Or you can watch the entire channel all day long. You wake up, turn it on, you will find out what to do for your day because towards the end of the show, we usually announce all the stuff that's happening Saturday, Sunday, and all the great stuff at the rest of the week because Las Cruces is an entertainment capital, the number one entertainment capital in, in southern New County. Mexico. <laughs> And so, yeah, and one thing, you know, you do want to entertain is the idea of not leaving your pets trapped in hot cars. That was an entertaining segue. If you go into a store and you have your dog with you, don't leave them in the car because within 10 minutes, the heat can double. Is that where they get the concept, the hot dog? Well, you'll get a hot dog. You'll also get time in prison. So get one of those little stickers and put it on your door if you have a dog. Uh, also, probably it's not good to leave your cats salamanders Goldfish. or children Goldfish. under the age of 34 well even children yeah uh, well you know 34 you 35 they should know better you can't leave kids in cars i don't know well you certainly don't leave your dogs in cars because you know we, you know if you watch this show that we care about dogs a great deal the only way dogs uh, can uh, get cool is by you know we can sweat from our entire bodies they sweat from their tongues well and they have plus they have a fur coat on well, now, you could always you know, shave that off. Now, if they drove with the, with the top down, then they could <laughs> keep a lot cooler. Is that the shaggy dog? That's the shaggy dog right there. Yeah, well, that's why he's driving at night, so it wouldn't be so hot. That's right. But white doesn't absorb heat, so he's doing okay. Now, I think it's We have important to... stuff on this show. Well, now, what do you do? You get in your car, and you go to the drive-in. You do? Well, we, Las Cruces has one less drive-in to go to. They tore down the Sonic on El Paso. I remember when they built the Sonic. I think most of the people your age do that uh, went to school in this town. Sure, uh, sure. And they re I remember it, and I wasn't even here until 20 years ago. It's big news. And Sonic is, uh, st there are still Sonics in town that are open, and yes. Sonic There's is not others. going out of business. This Sonic is so busy. It's, it, a, it's by the first. The, it's by the high school. Yeah. I go there. It's got great stuff, so I can't wait till it gets back. Probably by the time school starts. Well, if they're smart, they'll get it open by the time school starts. They're going to rebuild it from scratch. I guess it'll be larger and it'll be modern and up to date. You know, large doesn't matter because they just need more parking. You think oh. that they're taking over the, the uh, lot time? next to it. Well. Which would be pretty good. It'd be nice if they could. Uh, I'd like to see a modern Sonic. You know, that logo is easily the 70s and 60s. 50s. It's 50s. It's yeah. from when they started to design um, uh, Formica. That's the Formica exactly, thing. Exactly, right. When, when, when the car hops were on roller skates. They still are. And some of the Sonics, they still are. You get paid a dollar an hour or more if you use roller skates. You do? You do. I do. Is that why you're working there? Yeah. And if you, I wear a short skirt, I get even uh, more. Uh, but usually in tips. Yeah, more um, tips. insults. More tips. Yeah. yeah. I shave my legs. Yeah, you got a tip. Uh, get out of the restaurant <laughs> business. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Sonic. Um, yeah, go drive by it. It's not there. But imagine what it'll be like. Now, when those two guys that do the Sonic commercials, you know, those guys are great. It'd be cool if they came to Las Cruces for when the new Sonic opened. Look, it's just like Michael and I. You it see? Is. See, it that, is. that's me. And, and I'm wearing green that's just Michael. like that guy. And uh, uh, he makes silly uh, comments, and I respond to them. Oh, that's me, yes. Yeah, that's you with the so silly comments. So the, the new one, you know how they're going to get more space? Two levels. They're going to do a second floor. Uh, with an escalator. Yeah. You get an, uh, an elevator. Your car goes up in an oh, elevator. Car goes up. Car goes up in an elevator and goes to the second floor. So that should be exciting to see. I am sure. Now, it, uh, well, speaking of uh, corporate fast food joints. Were you speaking of that? We are. We love food. That begin with the letter S. Fast. Sonic and now Subway. You know, Sonic... Something like speed, subway, underground, Supersonic. but also 
like a submarine. Um, I like Subway. As a matter of fact, go ahead. You're the one who likes healthy foods. Well, yeah, as opposed to the unhealthy foods you're supposed to like? You know, uh, modified cornstarch is not that unhealthy. It's modified. <laughs> modified. You mean, uh, <laughs> modified cornstarch isn't even, corn it doesn't even exist, I don't think. Uh, but it does, it's modified. But uh, the Subway store is not angry. You know, we've talked about this in the past where their, their bread had the same ingredients as, as rubber floor mats, plastic floor, uh, welcome mats in front of your house. Had some of the same ingredients in their bread. Um, now Subway is, is getting very proud of themselves for getting rid of all the artificial, unnatural ingredients. Artificial, artificial things. Ingredients. They're going to be having real pepper instead of that fake black pepper that they use now. Whatever that what is. is. What is fake black it's pepper? It's probably ground up uh, black uh, mats. welcome mats. But uh, one of my favorite things there, they are going to use a natural coloring rather than the artificial coloring. I the really don't color. care. It's coloring. Uh, so, they're, so they've been using this the banana peppers for years, keeping it hush-hush. Now they're all proud of themselves that they're going to be using what they should have been using all along. They're going to start making the tuna out of tuna. I, you know what? I've been I've been hoping that they're. I love their tuna sandwiches. I've been I hoping that their dolphin sandwiches were tuna safe, but apparently that's not the case. No, it's the backwards. There's no steak in their dolphin. And so, uh, well, you know but they don't have hamburgers. But and you don't eat hamburgers anyway, so they're it's totally healthy for you. You eat turkey. They have turkey. You eat salami, right? Because that's not really stuff it's just no. sliced yeah with sodium nitrite they're not going to take that out i'm quite sure no that's artificial bacon, actually that's not bacon artificial. Has sodium that's nitrite. natural yeah but sodium it's also nitrate it's also sodium cancer nitrate causing are, are natural nitrite is, nitrite sodium nitrate. nitrate it's not it's not natural and then there's msg which is natural derivative of plants <laughs> yeah well so is uh, hemlock it is and hemlock's very good you know one drink you're happy for the rest of your day yeah and so it yeah, doesn't of course, take a Socrates to know that. Does <laughs> and Subway's it? not going to phase these in for another two years. Well, it takes time to get rid of all the old yeah. <laughs> stuff. Hey, hey, the stuff lasts forever, so, you know. Well, they've got to cancel the orders at the factory for all the poison. Or they have to the, get the factories to start taking in real peppers. <laughs> you think that for pepper, they can use Dr. Pepper? No, you mean the They'll banana pepper? Grind pep up Dr. Pepper? Those are, those no, are the artificially peppers. colored. With, I don't care. With, uh, with they US taste so good. Yellow. They taste great. U.S. yellow. It's United States yellow. Do so what do they taste? What are you, unpatriotic? Yes. You don't like U.S. FDA uh, sanctioned uh, flavorings and colorings? USDA will sanction anything as long yeah. as somebody's making money off it. Yes. And, oh, uh, what are we going to talk? Oh, are we, are we done talking about somebody? Because uh, yeah, I'm we getting are. hungry. It's almost lunchtime. You know, it's based true. on when the show sh uh, yeah, shoots. Absolutely. Oh, last week? Yeah. When uh, we didn't, we did our Negroni show, which yes. was pre-taped because we couldn't do it. So I was up in uh, Albuquerque. We're eating at, I told you this, right? Petit Louis. Yes, French restaurant in Albuquerque. The French yeah. restaurant. It's little. It's cute. And uh, towards, uh, we were there about 7 and around 8.30, the cast of Independence Day 2 walks in. Yeah, they're shooting that film up there right now. Yes, they are. It's in, that's a big film. Everybody loves was, one. Did, one did, was great. Did Randy Quaid come in? Randy Quaid, I don't think he's in the movie. He wasn't in the list. Mm. It was uh, Jeff Goldblum and uh, uh, Judd, what is it? Judd Hirsch? Judd Hirsch. Not Judd Hirsch. Yeah. Yes, it is Judd Hirsch. And some other actors that you've probably never heard of. No, little guys. But if you look at the uh, list, uh, uh, what is it? IMGB? IMDB. IMDB? You know DB? I had Internet and Movie Database. Oh, yes. Well, they're all listed there. And most of those people were there. We didn't know them because, right. and you won't know them either, until they become famous in Independence Day 2. You know what? Now that you mentioned that, Michael, you and I saw Independence Day one in California, in Los Angeles, the weekend it came out. Really? You and I were there. Oh, waiting, well, waiting. when Chloe was in camp. Well, Chloe was in camp. He had two weeks to kill. No, oh, that's pretty good. And Bar that's when we saw it. We, oh. <laughs> God. So we're gonna have to go to LA to see it. This I one. guess we'll have to. Yeah. Well, you'll early, be you'll be set to go. Early Albuquerque. Yes. At least Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, anyhow, that's more food things. Anyway, Petit Louis. Pretty good French stuff. Well, so does Le Zinc in Albuquerque. Yeah. And the best French food place in Las Cruces? Let's see. That oh, Rendezvous. Rendez we have the Rendezvous. Well, is yeah, except they're not stuff. open for dinner anymore. They're not? No, they still have good French uh, Breakfast and lunch, lunch only. Yes. They quit doing the pastries, apparently. I don't know. I haven't been, been there for they so They don't long. send the pastries out. I think they lost a pastry guy. So that's a shame. They had the best in town. Oh, man, they still, yes. They really did. Anyway. Now, oh, we're, we're back to uh, doing our topical stuff. They are, and there's we, big, big, big shakeups over at the county building. 
You know, the, the governments of all types are having problems all over the place. Well, why amazing. should we be any different? Yes. Uh, we're I'm going to let you introduce this because I know how you hate the government. Well, you know, we're just as corrupt here as anywhere else. Yes, and, we are. And, I'm uh, glad you said that. It's true. Yes, everybody thinks, oh, nothing's as bad as we are. Everything's well, as bad as we are. We're worse than many other places, I'll give well, you that. No, well, you know, if you want to live in an ideal town, you have to go to Vado. It's ideal. And yeah, well, it beats you, Sutherland Park, doesn't it? Yes, the Sutherland for Park guy was, was just uh, sentenced to three year suspension for a number of felony counts. Well, over over at the uh, county oh, county building, they uh, it wasn't me. They're they're forcing the road department, all forty of those employees, to take polygraph tests. Yes, apparently there's been wrongdoing. They can't find a whistleblower like you know the the Lynn Ellens uh, could. Um, you know, you wonder what uh, you talk about to a uh, road guy about what he did wrong. He said, "What, what can you ask them?" I think they're doing the uh, uh, polygraph tests. You know, most of those well, road guys stand there with their shovels and they never move. And they don't do anything. And so the polygraph test is merely to see if they're still alive. That's all it tells. Well, at least it shows if you have a heartbeat and a, and yeah, a breath. Yeah, you have to have a heartbeat. If they don't have a heartbeat, and, um, they're going to be on limited pay. I think I could beat a polygraph test. I think I know how to beat the lie detector. You're lying. You couldn't do it. Prove it. I can do it. I can beat the lie detector. I can't even pass a truth detector test. That's I'm sure I'd feel nervous if I told People who watch the show know that. Yes. It's like somebody's making up stuff. Who knows the difference between truth and lies? Nobody. It's all a perception. So what do you think about somebody... Do you think that's worse than the NSA reading our mail? I mean, they're reading your impulses. Yes. Well, one day they'll be able to read your mind. Lots of luck there, huh? <laughs> uh, see, I don't know. And they're why drawing I, a blank slate. I, I don't know why people are nervous about the NSA reading their personal stuff because nobody says anything that can really indict them. And if they do say something that can indict them, well, what did you want to know about it? Don't you think? Well, you know, remember that great movie called Dreamscape, where they could actually figure out a way to enter your dreams. No, I don't remember that. One. They entered your. They could enter your dreams. They could read your dreams and then manipulate them. And they could send. And they, what they did was, they figured out a way to send an assassin into the president's dreams to kill him. Because if you die in your dream in your sleep, you die. I don't think that's necessarily true. I think I. Well, that's when you're supposed to wake up. <laughs> but if you don't wake up, then you have to die. Right. So Eddie Albert played the president. Wow. Was that before? And, and Dennis Quaid. Was that before or after Green Acres? That was after, after Green well, Acres. After. This was in the early 80s. Oh. Dennis Quaid was You and star. Dennis Quaid. Dennis, right? not Randy. Well, was Randy supposed... Oh, yeah, Randy was in uh, Independence Day. Yes, Randy. Was Randy was. Yeah. Yeah. Gets, that's because they couldn't get Slim Pickens. <laughs> Slim Pickens. <laughs> he was in uh, How to Love the Bomb. Dr. Doctor Strange Strangelove. Love. Now, uh, speaking of the county... Oh, we know all this. Talking about the county, you know, it's, it's, it's mosquito season. Especially where I live, Michael, because we have irrigation all around, and uh, the neighborhood I live in, streets it's of my wet. block have their own small irrigation ditches for every house, hmm. and the um, so the water came down the ditch last week. Yeah, that's a picture from Syria, isn't it? That's <laughs> is that from Syria? They're just trying to. That's how the and that's how the that's the vector control. That's spraying for mosquitoes, and the and the, and the truck came by this morning around six o'clock. On your road or behind your house? They came down the cul-de-sac. They didn't go behind our house where we need it, where the standing water, the, the in irrigation uh, districts. Ditches. You know, they, there's been a... They a, did it in your front yard? They didn't Is shut that the, what you're saying? Yeah, they didn't shut the gates for the irrigation ditch, so more water keeps coming down, and it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't Absorb? Yeah, it doesn't uh, go away. So we have mosquitoes breeding back there, and they don't... They used to drive behind there, to that fog, sounds like to fog where the standing water is, but th they didn't do it last year and they didn't do it this year. So I'm placing a call to the vector control people. So watch out, vector control people. Monday. This is why I like to live in an urban environment. Yeah, well, you have a swimming pool, Michael. No did the, mosquitoes. Did the mosquitoes, mosquitoes go there? Nothing could live there. There's so <laughs> much chemicals. We're going to have to take a break now and go get uh, sprayed for mosquitoes. I don't think it's the chlorine, Michael. I think it's all the DNA that's in that pool. The DNA? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, I'll tell you another joke during our break. But we'll We're take, a, take break. a break. We'll take a break. And right we'll see you soon. Not that late. Soon. Pretty soon.
attention users of the blending drug Xarelto. If you or a loved one has been hospitalized or died from serious internal bleeding after taking Xarelto, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call the Sentinel Group now. Potential claims are being reviewed for users of Xarelto who have suffered severe bleeding or hemorrhaging, stroke, or even death. Our network of experienced attorneys are ready to help fight for you. You won't pay a thing until your case is settled. Call the Sentinel Group now. Don't wait. Have you or a loved one suffered complications after uterine surgery from the use of a power morselator? If so, call the Sentinel Group now. You may be entitled to significant compensation. The FDA estimates that one in 350 women undergoing a myomectomy or hysterectomy have unsuspected sarcoma or cancer in the uterus. The Sentinel Group's experienced network of attorneys have years of experience fighting big medical companies and is ready to fight for you. So if you've developed uterine cancer, call the Sentinel Group now for a free confidential consultation. Listen up, America! The price of life insurance has gone down 60% over the last 15 years. Many Americans know they need it, and some that have life insurance know they don't have enough. How would your family get by without you? How are you planning for the uncertainties of life? Find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. The quote is free, and there are no obligations. Listen up, America. Call now. Fiesta Motors. Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main. See you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors. We're buying a car. It's always a celebration. An important message for Americans in need of health insurance. If there's been a recent change in your life, you are eligible for immediate protection under the Affordable Care Act. If you're uninsured because you missed the enrollment deadline, we can help. To get the protection you need, you can visit the health care exchange and spend hours exploring your options. Or you can make a single call to health markets and let us do the legwork for you at no cost or obligation. Call the number on your screen now. Operators are standing by. Get the coverage you need. Call now. And we're back. This is Double Talk right here on Channel 98. With Mark Steffen and Michael Mandel. And right, uh, right for you. Yes. You know. We're talking about things going on in the city and the county and uh, the mosquito season and all that. Before we talk about the uh, uh, county yes. and, and the area, let's do a Jimmy Fallon thing. Welcome to Las Cruces. What a wonderful city. Isn't it? Yes. It's Isn't a great city. It's a great city to be in. I mean, he's, he does great things about everything, doesn't he? Yes. Everything's great in Jimmy Fallon's life, especially his job. He's really happy to get that job. Well, he should be. I don't know why I want to talk about that, but yes, the, uh, uh, the accolades he gives to everybody. You're looking great. You look, have you had any kids lately? Because, you know, it looks like you lost the weight. Michael, have you had any work done? Because you look marvelous. Not only have I not had work done, I have not done work. So both I have covered. That's true. Yes. Are you on unemployment? <laughs> no, I'm on retirement. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, listen. Uh, you have to have a job to be Well, unemployed. speaking of a guy oh, without a job. Out? Yes. Uh, oh, that's there, his name. Well, there's a fe federal, a fe a federal, a fellow down at the county building. Yes. He was working in the uh, elections office for the really? county manager. I mean, the uh, the county clerk. I don't know what is the whistleblower. And uh, it's somebody who uh, spills the beans on wrongdoings in their workplace. Or you can call him the canary in a cage. You know, because they they give a warning that something wrong is going on. He's the one that uh, brought the uh, notice to all the people that were stealing uh, social security numbers using them and cashing checks from the social security checks yeah, in the county clerk's office I, that, they asked that's him an inventive uh, procedure I, I can't I, even figure out still only from people in 1995 who registered in to vote the year from 1995 or born in that year yes born, born in that, that year. year yes and they worked in the county clerk's office so Lynn Ellens who I respect for his stand on gay marriage he apparently had to uh, fire the whistleblower what's his name uh, Robert, Robert Hernandez. Hernandez and it seemed suspicious yet on talking to him he indicated that he was fired for other reasons which can't be discussed because it's a personnel matter right. and you don't know what happened there. Well it's against the law to fire somebody for being a whistleblower so of course he had to say that. Yes unless it actually happened a lot of things were going on who knows 
So anyway, I'm sure once the lawsuit settles, we'll find out what really happened. Hey, he's no Dennis Hassert, so there you go. That's true. But Robert Hernandez, we have his picture. He was only, he was a temporary worker. So is that Robert Hernandez, or is that some guy from a daytime soap opera? Yeah, well, it looks like one, doesn't it? But yeah, uh, how come his head sticks past the black thing? How does that? He, uh, that Christopher Lee. He was uh, young. The poor guy worked. He's in a wheelchair, and needed needed a job. Oh. But uh, he he reported the, the the people who were committing yes. the crimes and the frauds asked him to take part, and he get some. And he said he, could, and he, he said, said no, and then he told pretended them to them. go along with him. Then he told the sheriff what was going on. And now that he's been fired, he's going to run against Lynn Ellens in the next election. He's going to run for county, county clerk, and I think that's why he was fired. I don't know. I think he announced it after he was fired. He ran last time, didn't he? I don't know. Well, he'd already said he was it's going to run. It's not like I read things. It had been announced that he was going to run. Well, he finally got a job, a chance, and uh, what happened? Well, he took a gamble. By telling on uh, people uh, right. throwing to it. So and we will find out. It's correct. one of those things. You know, people say, what do you think about stuff, right? And if you don't know all the details, you can't start making judgments. I've learned that from forensic shows on TV. You know, at the half hour mark, you think you know who the killer was. Fifteen minutes later, it turns around. That's all those red herrings they throw at you. That's a, one of the techniques of uh, detective shows. Right. Now, speaking of gambling, yeah. the uh, casinos yeah. in New Mexico, opera owned and operated by the Native, in, Americans. Native American tribes over there in Indian country, got renewed. It was down close. to the wire, wasn't they it? They were going to close at the end of this month if they didn't get renewed. You know, you have Native American tribes. Where are all the Native English tribes? Are there any? Natives, well, are they they're, back east? They're called Picts. Na they're called what? Picts. 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 <laughs> That's the early tribes in uh, England. And uh, the Normans. And they're <laughs> earlier than the Normans. And But, um, you mm -hmm. know, I guess the tribes finally paid off the right people to get the state to do what they had to do to renew their gambling licenses for, for the next 20 years. You know, there's a lot of paperwork and there's a lot of hanky-panky, who knows, speaking about county events, the gambling, gambling casinos have far more leeway since it's not really run by any government people. They may have government inspection. You know, the Native Americans don't have to pay taxes on no. their winnings. Right. But they, but they provide lots of employment for people on the reservation and within the tribe. And how do those people make their money? By, by taking it wages. from people who very often can't afford to gamble. Some of many of them can. A lot of people who gamble are retired people who have no other slots to stick their coin. Well, they're also that's why they only allow adults to gamble, Michael, because you're an adult. It's a choice you make to do that. Now, I, many, uh, many of the people that attend the casinos are tourists passing through. Let's say with Vegas, uh, you know, people go to Vegas specifically. People are not driving past. Uh, uh, where Acoma Pueblo because the, some people do they do sure if you're in the area but let's go to the we should casino. figure out how much because a lot of people go there especially to gamble I mean the ones in Albuquerque well why do you think that these Indian casinos have these big ballrooms where they have high-priced entertainment come in to lure people Get to the people casino there. and they have restaurants and and events and they, they do want to they go do there. And some people like gambling you know, there's that thing in your brain that only remembers the good moments, and that's the survival technique. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you only remember when you win. You forget about all those losing things, right? Right. So that's what's going on. Now, uh, we did lose a few people this week of yeah. note. Now, that was a good segue, unlike the... Now, there, who did we, who's that? Is that Robert Hernandez? That's Christopher Lee. Oh, Christopher Lee. He was a great vampire. Great you know, actor. I've never seen him. You probably saw him. Sir Christopher Lee. Yes. And uh, he played, in all those Hammer films, he played uh, Dracula. Many, I didn't many know those Hammer films. Hammer films. But I do like his sister's pastries, you know, Sarah. Uh, Sarah Lee? Yeah, yes. very good. And, of course, many people know him from the, st from the Star Wars and uh, Lord of the Rings movie. If I ever saw Lord of the Rings. Maybe. Yes. And, and uh, he died. He was 85 years old. Yeah, we got he a picture looked, of him from Lord of the Rings. Is there a picture from Lord of the Rings? And There's uh, a ring. So he looks pretty similar. That's what the younger kids will remember him for. Yeah, looks like right. uh, he had an important trident, which is only a duo yes. tint. Now, we also lost Ornette Coleman, the great jazz uh, saxophone player. Yes, and we could play a clip from him if we weren't going to be cut out by somebody like... Uh, 
like uh, YouTube because it would be copyright material. That's he true. he really uh, changed the standard of what music is supposed to sound like. He did a lot of atonality. He mixed chords. Uh, and he got away with it. And got away with it. And he inspired a lot of people. And yeah. he did some good things. Uh, what's going on in this town? Anything? Well, yeah, we got a lot any of any entertainment going on this here. Well, there's a children's show at the Black Box Theater called The Arabian Nights. Yeah. Based on the Thousand and One Nights uh, by Shahrazad and all that. Yes, that's going on at the Black Box Theater. Opens opened last week. Yes, going on again this week uh, tonight and Sunday matinee. And next week they always do three yeah. weeks. Also downtown at the Las Cruces Community Theater is the Stephen Sondheim Musical Company. If you see that sign on the on the uh, marquee, don't just think it's a company that you don't know about. It's actually a theater piece and it's a great it's one of uh, Stephen Stonham's earlier pieces uh, yeah, doesn't, yeah. really good it's been a while it's since really good. it's been done here or it's never I been done here the, mm, I don't think so oh. they showed the movie here a little while ago also, um, also uh, tonight at the Rio Grande Theater uh, the dance that? company from Mexico sponsored by no, oh, that's not Melissa the Mexican yet. consulate called Cruel and it's free that's free it's free and so I, I'll probably be there for that and uh, that'll be going on at the same time that Maleficent is being shown also free in the Movies in the Park series. Mm -hmm. This will be in, That's uh, in Apodaca uh, Ap Park. Is it Apodaca? Yes, one up Madrid. This, this week. So, speaking about free movies, yes. when Ornette Coleman started to do free jazz, yeah. he was known for free jazz. It was on the five spot. The sign was said free jazz. Nobody, nobody paid for tickets. They just walked in. Oh, really? Yes. That actually happened. Also, uh, tonight is Kids Night Out. Uh, downtown? Yes. Next to the Rio Grande Theater. All kinds of activities for kids to do. And uh, Something at the Speedway, I yeah. see. What's yeah. at the Speedway? Well, the stock car races are out there tonight, as they uh -huh. are every Saturday night during the summer. So uh, the Big Chili Country uh, Wagon will be out there, by the way. Big Chili Country Big Radio. Big Chili Country. The Big Tour Bus will be out there. Stop by and say hello there. And with that, we are about out of time. Is our show out of time? Michael, pretty much. We ran out of ideas a long time ago, but now we're out of time. That's never Is stopped that what us. happens? So next uh, time, we'll sing songs for you. We have them here. And uh, do other things. So see you next week. Thanks for joining us right here on Las Cruces' only yes. independent television station, Stay Channel healthy. 98. See you. Are you going to the speed raid tonight, Michael? Yeah, yeah. yeah.